Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you all. India gifts patrol vessel landing craft to Maldives to boost ties. US panel urges removal of Pakistan's religious freedom waivers. And British royals choose Indian designers' designs for coronation. And now for all the details. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Tuesday met Maldives President Ibrahim Mohamed Soli in Mali as part of his three-day official visit to strengthen ties. The two leaders spoke of the long history of close cooperation and the Maldivian President expressed gratitude for India's continued aid and support. Later in the day, Singh handed over offshore patrol vessel CGS Huravi and a landing craft assault ship for the Maldivian National Defence Force. Apart from meeting his counterpart, he also held talks with Foreign Minister Abdullah Shahid. The visit is being seen as an effort by India to counter China's persistent efforts to expand its influence in the countries of the region. And the International Monetary Fund, IMF, has pinned its hopes on India for global economic revival as it continues to remain a relative bright spot in the world economy. The global lender in its World Economic Outlook report has predicted that India's GDP would grow 5.9% this year. Global output growth is projected by the IMF to slow to 2.8% in 2023. The growth in the rest of the Asia is also likely to bottom out in 2023. IMF head for Asia Pacific Krishna Srinivasan has said China and India will be key drivers in Asian economy with an expansion of 5.2% and 5.9% respectively. Asia's economy is expected to contribute around 70% of global growth, the IMF said, upgrading its forecast by 0.3 of a percentage point from October. It means that Asia and Pacific is driving global growth. The, com the, the countries in the region are combined to account for about 70% of global growth in 2023. This is a much larger share than we've seen in the past few years. And just two countries, India and China, account for about 50% of global growth. Well, a U.S. government panel has called for removal of waivers given to Pakistan that allows the South Asian nation to avoid consequences for violations of religious freedom. In its annual report, the United States Commission of International Religious Freedom highlights the religious minorities were subject to frequent attacks and threats, including accusations of blasphemy, targeted killings, lynching and forced conversions in the year 2022. It noted that Pakistani society has grown increasingly intolerant of religious diversity. Human rights defenders in past have raised concerns over the draconian blasphemy laws, which are often exploited to settle personal scores against minorities. While Pakistan's constitution nominally protects religious freedom, activists blame Pakistan of discriminating against its non-Muslim minorities and Ahmadiyyas by maintaining laws that restrict freedom of religion or beliefs. Quran teachers in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir staged a demonstration recently to demand regularization and the promised hike in their salaries. They said a notification regarding the scale upgradation of 496 teachers was issued by the authorities, but even after 11 months, its implementation is yet to take place. The protesters alleged discrimination and said their repeated requests are being ignored. They said they have held several protests, but all in vain. यार आम गुजर चुके हैं काबीना ने भी मंजूरी दी है नोटिफिकेशन भी हो गया लेकिन अभी तक इनकी तकरीर नहीं हुई जो इंतजारी तस्वीश नाग है इस्तियार आया लेकिन इदालते आलिया ने उसको मंसूब कर दिया हम इदालते आलिया से मत मुआज़ज़ जजिस से ये इस्तेदाक करते हैं कि फुदारा इन 400 चांदने मालिमों 
Well, Afghanistan's acting foreign minister, Amir Khan Muttaki, will travel to Pakistan next week to meet with the foreign ministers of Pakistan and China after the United Nations Security Council Committee agreed to allow the Taliban leader to travel. Muttaki has been under Security Council sanctions, which has imposed a travel ban as it frees an arms embargo. The development came after Pakistan's UN mission requested an exemption for Muttaki to travel between May 6th to 9th. It, however, did not say what the ministers would discuss. On Monday, UN Chief Antonio Guterres also held a closed-door meeting of special envoys on Afghanistan in Doha to discuss issues such as women's rights and countering terrorism. The world body has said it should not be seen as a step towards formal recognition of Taliban. And the coronation of King Charles and Queen Consort Kamala has given a reason to rejoice for designer from India who has received acknowledgement for her designs which are likely to be worn by the British royals for the big day. Take a look. Making India immensely proud, designer Priyanka Malik has said her designs have been selected by the British royals for the coronation of King Charles this week. The young designer from West Bengal state has designed a beautiful red dress for the Queen Consort Camilla and a brooch for the King with a signature butterfly input expected to be worn for their big day. Malik said she has received an acknowledgement from the Buckingham Palace that the Queen Consort liked her designs. Uh, seeing them at uh, the dress design first uh, on about uh, October 22nd and after that uh, they are uh, appreciated on my designs and they are selected and uh, after that they are showing me uh, for uh, uh, sending some of uh, designs for the king and I was sent brooch design and it was uh, uh, I'm thrilled to know that it was also uh, get selected and they are appreciated on my designs. Malik said she will virtually attend the ceremony to be held at the Westminster Abbey on 6th of May, according to the reports. Scores of Hindu devotees on Monday took a holy dip in the river Ganga in India's Varanasi to celebrate the Pushkaram festival which is dedicated to sacred rivers. The devotees and priests performed rituals to worship the river Ganga which along with its tributaries is a vital water source for millions of people. The festival is observed once every 12 years. The Ganga originates from the western Himalayas and flows south and east through North India and then enters Bangladesh. It is Hinduism's most sacred river and the faithful believe that bathing in its waters can absolve people of their sins. In April 22, when it started in the Mesh Rasi, it started in Ganga Pushkar. What happened when it started? We came to the Pura and came to the Pura and came to the Pura and came to the Pura. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.